All right, cool. Today, today we're gonna show you, today, today we're gonna show you why, all right. Today, I'm gonna show you the importance of non-destructive editing in Photoshop. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And today's episode, super exciting. We're gonna show you the differences between destructive editing and non-destructive editing. So non-destructive editing is a way of editing that will allow you to undo anything that you've done at any point in time. And it's the type of editing that I prefer. So I'm gonna edit the same image basically in the same way, both destructively and non-destructively. You're gonna see me struggle a little bit. <laughs> and then we're gonna go and save those images and then see when we're done what a difference it makes between the destructive editing and the non-destructive. We got a great tutorial, let's jump into Photoshop. So we're all set up in Photoshop. We've got some sample images. Now, if you wanna follow along, just click right up here. You can actually download these sample images. We're gonna just start with our destructive image. And as you can see, I made some text and a little black background here. Now, true destructive editing should all just be done on one layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and shift click the two of these. This is my group with the text and my background. We're gonna merge them together. So Control Command E, just gonna merge them together. Now visually, it doesn't look any different, uh, but now we have one layer instead of a few. So let's go ahead and continue editing destructively and see where this goes. So we're gonna hit F for full screen and I have two goals here. One, I wanna remove this little uh, flower here in front of my subject. And two, I wanna change my subject's dress color. So we're gonna start off with our spot healing brush tool to remove this little flower. And this is like the tool of choice. We're gonna be using basically the same tools in both of these images. So anytime you want something removed, this is the tool that I recommend grabbing first. The spot healing brush tool, it does a really, really good job in most cases. I'm trying to actually do a good job editing destructively and non-destructively. And then we'll show you the differences of why it's so important to edit non-destructively when we're done. Okay, there we go. So you can see we were able to remove that flower and it looks pretty good. Now, the next big thing that I wanna do is change the color of my subject's dress. I want it to be a little bit like a maroon color. So what we're gonna do is use our brush tool, okay? And I'm on the same layer. We're gonna change our mode of the brush. We're gonna change this to color. Okay, so let's, using our brush tool, we're gonna paint with red, all right? I wanted something that's gonna look nice with both our subjects' lipstick and also give us a nice contrast from that green. Okay, now notice that I'm just doing this on my background layer. So just simply paint with your brush tool set to your blend mode of color. Now, again, if this is the first Flurn video that you're watching, um, keep in mind what I'm doing here, but we're gonna show you a non-destructive way of doing the same thing in just a minute. Yes, this will change our dress color to red, but might not be the method that I would suggest using. If I make a large change, or I painted a large part of my subject's dress, and um, oh, you can see I just painted over my subject's skin a little bit. So I just have to hit undo, and look at that, I have to undo all that stuff. So that's uh, annoying. Not my finest work ever, but doing pretty good. So let's go ahead and speed things up. I'm gonna go do the rest of the dress, and you'll get to see it in lightning speed. So we've done our edit, looks great. We're gonna go ahead and save this out and close it. So let's go ahead and Controller Command S to save and then Controller Command W to close that out. So next we have our non-destructive and I'm basically just gonna do the same things here. So let's go ahead and create a new layer here. Again, we're gonna go in with our Spot Healing Brush tool. There we go. Now you'll notice the difference here. I created a new layer. I'm not doing this on my background layer, so that's 
really one of the essential keys to non-destructive editing is anytime you make changes, try to make those changes on a new layer. There we go. So removing this around, uh, we are gonna change our dress color, but we're gonna do it not destructively. So I'm gonna create a layer called a hue saturation adjustment layer. So we're gonna go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and over to hue saturation. Let's hit okay. And I'm gonna click on this colorize button. There we go. And I can just choose a nice red color. Now I have a layer mask here. Now a layer mask will just make this entire layer, it'll make it visible everywhere if it's white. If it's black, which I can just invert it by hitting Control or Command I, it's gonna make it invisible everywhere. So if I want it to just be visible some places, I can just paint white on the layer mask. There we go. And I can turn this off and on. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, again, we're just gonna speed things up because it's just me painting on a dress and you've already seen that. So we're done with our non-destructive editing. Now we're gonna go ahead and save this and close it out so we have nothing open in Photoshop. So those are two different PSD files. Now we get to go into the fun part, which is to see the real benefits of non-destructive editing. So let's go ahead and open up both of those PSDs. So here we have our destructive and our non-destructive versions, really similar edits. I mean, slightly different dress color, but other than that, very similar. Let's take a look at our destructive image first. So changes I wanna make. Well, I wanna see if I can just remove this destructive banner. Uh, unfortunately, because it's part of my background layer, I can't really remove it. I'd have to clone stamp that out. Uh, that's super annoying. <laughs> Versus the non-destructive, all I have to do is just turn that off and boom, it's gone. So next change, what we wanna do is, let's say we wanted to bring back that, uh, you know, the thing that we clone stamped out there, the little piece of uh, flower and grass, things like that. Well, again, because it's just part of my background layer, basically I would have to start this edit completely over again. Whereas with our non-destructive editing, I can just turn this layer back on. There we go, on and off, and we have that piece back. Okay, now the last change, we wanna take a look at our dress color. Two things, one is, I wanna change this dress color. I like this red, but I think it could be a little bit different. So if I wanna change this dress color, guess how I would have to do it? Well, I would just have to grab a new color. There we go. And then use my brush tool set to color mode. And I'd have to completely repaint everywhere I painted the first time around, which would be, that would take quite a long time. The other thing is, you know, I tried to do a pretty good job when I painted uh, in between the lines. But in some areas, like right over here, I painted over my subject's arm. I can't just like erase that away necessarily because again, it's all just applied on the same layer. So I would have to maybe try to go use my brush tool and then try to grab this color and then try to paint it in with this color. There we go. This does work okay, but it's definitely not the preferred method. It's just kind of like, it gets a little bit tougher because then I paint that color in, now I got to paint this color in and that doesn't look realistic. Okay, I think we get the idea. So altering where we actually painted, pretty tough. Let's go ahead and take a look at our non-destructive. If I wanna change the color of this dress, check this out. All I have to do is double click on this adjustment layer. Let's go ahead and bring that over. And I can simply just change the hue to any color that I want. Because I did this non-destructively, it's on its own layer. I can change the hue, the saturation, and the lightness with just a couple sliders without having to go in and actually repaint something new. I could turn this off and on at any time, and I could even lower the opacity to kind of give us somewhere in the middle. Now, I purposely didn't do a great job painting this in, and you may have noticed that, but because we're using a layer mask, if I want some area to be visible, let's hit F for full screen, I can just paint white on my layer mask, okay? And it's like, oh no, you painted that color over her arm. Well, if I want it to be invisible, all I have to do is switch my brush to black and paint black on the layer mask, and it's gonna be invisible. 
So you don't have to worry about being as perfect with the areas that you paint or your selections because you can change them literally at any time. So you can see I've closed these images down, I reopened them, and here I am changing this layer mask. You can see here I painted over a complicated background. There we go. I'm just painting that back away. Perfect. So we can end up with a really perfect selection and our color changes of this dress is going to be completely natural. So, of course, we can get back to our original image at any time. All I have to do is just turn off the layers that I made changes. We're back to our original photo. I can turn these back on. And here we have our non-destructive edit. Now, I do realize this example was a little bit on the extreme side, but hopefully it shows the benefits of non-destructive editing. So here are my tips. Any changes that you make in Photoshop, I suggest creating a new layer. That way you can turn that layer off and on at any point in time. Make sure you're always saving out a PSD file as well as your JPEG. That PSD contains your layers so you can make changes at any time, just like we showed you here. And if you're going to make any changes to colors or lighting in your image, I suggest using adjustment layers. Simply go to layer, down to new adjustment layers, and you've got an entire list of adjustment layers to help you out. If you want something to be invisible on a layer, simply paint black on your layer mask, and to be visible, paint white. And now you can see why I love to edit non-destructively in Photoshop. Any changes that I make can be undone at any point in time, even after I've closed down Photoshop and reopened my program once again. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to get more free tutorials from Flurn every single week, click on that subscribe button. We've got a great playlist of getting started tutorials here. And if you want to do a deep dive and you're just getting started into Photoshop, go ahead and click on the beginner's guide to Photoshop. It's a fantastic pro tutorial available on flurn.com. Thank you so much. I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.